Bungie has given us the new TWAB in the three-part series of TWAB's about weapons. It's amazing, it's beautiful, and it's also the final one before we get into Season 15. I'm Darth Tostigos, and today I'm going to explain everything coming to Season 15 from the new TWAB on August 19th, 2021. New weapon changes, exotic changes, Tastes as legendaries, the anarchy nerf, RIP, and more loot that we're getting. Before we get into this, make sure to like and subscribe to never miss out on future Destiny 2 content like this. Buckle up and let's do this. First on the list are about the stasis legendaries. Stasis legendaries will be in the kinetic slot besides power weapons because that just makes sense. The perks that do slow and freezing or tend to be on kills, so they're absolutely not obnoxious in PvP, so you don't have to deal with day one stasis again. It fixed the quick swap glitch, RIP. And here's something big prior weapons now have unlimited ammo. Also, in an older TWAB, I'm not sure override was accounted for now since there is no primary bricks. They literally sunset of primary bricks. Drop mag is pretty useless, so they just reworked it to have more reload speed and less magazine size. Compact arrow shaft has also been reworked to be faster reload and better handling. There will be more stuff for exotic such as fighting lion and sweet business later in the video, so stay tuned for that. Target farming trials weapons next season will also be more efficient, and trials weapons have seven perks in each column, so more perks, yay! Now the archive type changes: bridge grenade launchers have a reduced blast radius, reduced splash damage, increased damage in PVE, and also wither horde is unaffected. If you want the numbers, they are on screen now. Take a look. Machine guns have an increased PVE damage by 20%. And for scout rifles and hand cannons, drum roll please. 50% more damage against minor enemies in PvE. Don't know what you expected, but we're all just equally disappointed. There's also some stuff for fusion rifles, which is a lot that I won't go over, but just expect fusion rifles to be better next season. And it was on screen, so take a read. If you want this, we get to exotic weapon changes, I ask you to like and subscribe so you can never miss out on future Destiny 2 content, and it just supports my channel. Also helps me in the algorithm because Old. Now it's time for the sad part, the anarchy nerf. They nerf the reserves and reduce the boss damage by 30%. That's literally it. Xenophage has had a rate of fire nerf from 120 to 90 and receives less than machine gun buff. But Cheaters is somehow going to make this artillery cannon into a literal machine gun. Final line is getting the same breach grenade launcher changes. The reduced reload stat to zero, which will be slow, but kind of obvious. But you shouldn't be manually reloading this gun according to Bungie, so that's that. Now increases the reload speed to its previous level, damage and multiple enemies with one grenade, yeet. Next method class is getting a buff, and I'm gonna cry because I'm so happy. They increase the PvE damage, the range stat, and your best in class for impact auto rifles, they increase the stability, we work the catalyst that gives stability after a kill, they increase the fire rate for the linear fused rifle mode, and our favorite. We no longer lose overcharge stacks by stowing the weapon. Merciless has had an updated perk and reduced de damage penalty for increased charge rate by 40%. And now, the almighty toaster. The reduced charge time and now reduced damage. Ashen has now had some changes. Reduced damage, increased spread, angle, increased PV damage. Numbers here. Do business now refills some special and heavy since, you know, you kind of just sunsetted primary bricks. There's some stuff about perks that I don't really care about, but I know some will. And there's some extra stuff, it's on screen. Take a look. Welcome to Guns, 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 and More Guns, where we talk about the guns in this game. There's a new rocket launcher for next season, as the weapon from Ben, sheesh! And I'm only making that joke once. There are also three new weapons for the core activities. Prophecy, we're getting the Trials of the Number 9 weapons. I did not stutter, we are getting Trials of the 9 weapons. I forgot one extra thing. Destiny 2 is finally getting an anti-cheat. Battle Eye. So now we celebrate. There was a tweet from Destiny 2 them themselves, and here's a meme I made, it's up in the eye corner thing. That was all the stuff coming in Season 15 for the new Legendaries for Stasis. That was all the new stuff coming in Season 15 for the new Stasis Legendaries. Some archetype changes, the exotic changes, new weapons, and some extra stuff. And the anti-cheat. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe for future Destiny 2 content that's coming soon. See you next video, bye!